Hello friends, welcome back to our new video that is MCQs on antimicrobial resistance. Okay, so the first question is most common method of bacteria responsible for drug resistance is conjugation or transduction or transformation or enzyme inactivation and the right answer is option A that is conjugation. So most common method of bacteria responsible for drug resistance is conjugation okay so move on to the next question that is the mechanism of action of vancomycin is inhibition or alteration of cell wall synthesis or mRNA synthesis or cell membrane integrity or protein synthesis via 50s ribosomal subunit and the right answer is option a that is cell wall synthesis so the mechanism of action of vancomycin is inhibition or alteration of cell wall synthesis okay so chaliye, next question dekhte hai. so next question is disinfection of cystoscope is a high level disinfection or intermediate level disinfection or low level disinfection or none of the above and the right answer is option a that is high level disinfection so disinfection of cystoscope is a high level disinfection okay so next question so next question is not true about bacterial drug resistance mechanism and the options are so the not <coughs> true about this which one is the not true about the drug resistance so options are most common mechanism is production of neutralizing enzymes or if resistance is plasmid mediated it is always transferred vertically and option c alteration of target seen in pneumococcal resistance and option d complete removal of target cause of resistance to vancomycin and the right answer is option b that is if resistance is plasmid mediated it is always transferred vertically so this statement is not true about the bacterial drug resistance mechanism why because because here Plasmids are replicative and extra chromosomal DNA elements present in most bacteria and they can be transmitted either vertically or horizontally. And what is the difference between vertical gene transfer and horizontal transfer? So vertical transfer refers to the passage of plasmid from mother to daughter cells during division and horizontal transfer refers to the passage of a plasmid from donor to any recipient cell outside of cell division often through conjugation okay so this is the difference between vertically and horizontally transferred of plasmid so this statement is not true about the drug resistance mechanism okay so move on to the next question that is non-critical devices are disinfected by high level disinfection intermediate level disinfection low level disinfection or both b and c and the right answer is option d that is both b and c is correct so non critical devices are disinfected by intermediate level disinfection and low level disinfection okay so move on to the next question that is number 6 so the number six question is multiple drug resistance is spread by transformation transduction mutation or conjugation and the right answer is option d that is conjugation so multiple drug resistance is spread by conjugation okay so next question dekhenge. so next question is new delhi metallo beta lactamase enzyme confers resistance to which antibiotic and the options are cholestin amoxicillin carbapenem or vancomycin and the right answer is 
ऑप्शन सी दट इज कार्बापेनियम ओके सो न्यू दिल्ली मेटालो बीटा लैक्टमिज एंजाइम कन्फर्स रेजिस्टेंस टू विच एंटीबायोटिक दट इज कार्बापेनियम ओके सो मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो द नंबर वन नंबर एट इज द फॉलोइंग डिस इनफेक्टेंट इज यूज फॉर वाटर डिस इनफेक्शन एंड ऑप्शन आर क्लोरिन डाइऑक्साइड ओजोन और हाइड्रोजन पर ऑक्साइड और ऑल ऑफ द एव एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन D that is all of the above. So the following <clears throat> that means chlorine dioxide, ozone, and hydrogen peroxide. All this all disinfectant is used for water disinfection. Okay. So next question. देखेंगे. So next question is for antibiotic sensitivity test. The organism broth prepared should match with McFarland standard 0.5, McFarland standard 1. McFarland standard 2 or McFarland Mac standard 3 and the right answer is option A that is McFarland standard 0.5 so for antibiotic sensitivity test the organism broth prepared should match with McFarland standard 0.5 okay so move on to the next question that is all of the following are bacteriostatic except vancomycin Clindamycin, tetracycline, or linzolid. Okay, and the right answer is option A. That is vancomycin. So all or all the options are bacteriostatic except vancomycin. So vancomycin is not a bacteriostatic agent. Okay, so move on to the next. That is the ideal depth of water for. Efficient disinfection by ultraviolet rays is 35 centimeter or 25 centimeter or 10 centimeter or 45 centimeter, and the right answer is option C, that is 10 centimeter. So the ideal depth of water for efficient disinfection by ultraviolet rays is 10 centimeter. Okay. So next question, kya hai? So next question is. drug against esbl that is extended spectrum beta lactamase producing pseudomonas is options are uh, ceftriaxone plus piperacillin or ceftriaxone plus tazobactam or piperacillin plus tazobactam or ceftriaxone plus piperacillin plus tazobactam and the right answer is option c that is piperacillin and tazobactam so drug against esbl that is extended spectrum beta lactamase producing pseudomonas is piperacillin plus tazobactam okay so move on to the next that is a strain of e coli isolated from urine is re resistant to third generation cephalosporin the mechanism of development of resistance is extended spectrum beta lactamase or decreased permeability or active efflux of beta lactam agent or alternating alteration of pvp that is penicillin binding proteins and the right answer is option a that is extended extended spectrum beta lactamase so a strain of e coli isolated from urine is resistant to third generation cephalosporin okay and the mechanism of development of resistance is extended spectrum beta lactamase this is the reason okay so move on to the next question so next question is mic that is minimum inhibitory concentration can be calculated by all of the following antibiotic sensitivity methods except e test agar dilution method kirby byers dix diffusion method or broth dilution method and the right answer is option c that is kirby byers method so kirby byers dix diffusion method is the right answer so mic that is minimal inhibitory concentration can be calculated by all of these options all of this antibiotic sensitivity test method except kirby byers dix diffusion method why Because Kirby-Byers distribution method 
is a susceptibility test. So the Kiwiba distribution method or assay provides only limited information on susceptibility and resistance to the drug tested. The assay cannot distinguish between bacteriostatic and bactericidal activities and differences in zone size cannot be used to compare drug potencies or efficacies. And comparison of zone size to a standardized chart will only provide information on the antibacterial to which a bacterial pathogen is susceptible or resistance. Okay, so move on to the next question. That is the world's most infectious microbe is Ulvechia pipentis or RM Zinkernagel or Mycobacterium tuberculosis or Plasmodium. And the right answer is option A, that is Ulvechia pipentis. So the world's most infectious microbe is Ulvechia pipentis. Okay, so next question here. Beta lactamase is produced by E. coli, gonococcus or staphylococcus aureus or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of the above. So beta lactamase is produced by all that is E. coli by gonococcus by staphylococcus aureus all okay. So move on to the next. Which of the following diseases is or are not toxin mediated? And the options are diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, and syphilis. And the right answer is option D, that is syphilis. So syphilis is a disease which is not toxin mediated, but other diseases, that is the diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, all are toxin mediated. Okay. So these are all questions or MCQs on antimicrobial resistance okay so thank you for watching this video